Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. And if it's your first time here, welcome. My name is Mal and I make Tumblr tutorials here on YouTube every single week. In today's video, we're making a cup inspired by one of my absolute favorite country artists of all time, probably one of my favorite just general artists of all time. We're going to be making a cup inspired by the one and only Shania Twain. So we incorporated a few of my favorite techniques into this design. We'll be doing a peekaboo, we're gonna mix our own glitter, and we're gonna use some really fun elements to really just bring this cup to life. So I really hope that you enjoy it. If you do, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button down below and make sure you're subscribed to my channel so you don't miss any of my new videos. I upload brand new tutorials every single week. All the products I'm using in this video are linked down below in the description box. I've also got links to my second channel, my Pinterest, my Facebook, Facebook group, Patreon group, Instagram, TikTok. Links to everything are down below in the description box. So be sure to check that out. Okay, I think that's it. I really hope you like the video. Let's go. We're starting with a 30 ounce skinny straight tumbler from Craft Haven. This is one that I've stripped, that's why it's a little messed up looking. We're gonna start by splitting our cup in half. And what we wanna do here is basically leave a spot on the bottom, a section in the middle, and a spot on the top. So just keep that in mind as you're sectioning your cup. I didn't measure or anything. I base painted the bottom of the cup with Love Pink from Montana Colors. And once that was dry, I went in with my Crystal Act glitter glue and we're going to apply some glitter to the bottom of our cup. The glitter I'm going to be using is called Shake That from PDB. It's a really pretty, kind of iridescent, chunky pink color. We're going to cover the entire bottom of the cup with this glitter. I let that glitter layer dry for about two hours and then I took my Crystal Act glitter glue again and used that to seal my glitter. And I'm just using a soft bristled makeup brush. Right after applying the glitter glue, I'm gonna remove my tape and then set that aside and let it dry for another two hours. And then I'm gonna go in and base paint the top of my cup. And I'm using white acrylic paint. And when I paint this, I'm really not gonna focus on that seam where the pink glitter and the white paint are gonna line up. We're gonna add a little sliver of vinyl there anyway, so don't worry about getting that area too, too perfect. So I'm going to apply one coat, set it aside, and let it dry while I mix my custom glitter mix for this area. Now I'm going for a kind of white glitter with a little bit of a Tiffany blue tint to it. And the recipe's up on the screen if you want exact measurements, but I'm going to start with Parabatai from Peachy Olive Glitters. And then I'm gonna take Alter Ego from PDB, do a little bit of that. Next is Yeti, also from PDB. And then I'm gonna take Kanoe from Peachy Olive Glitters, put some of that in there, maybe a little more. And then I'm gonna take Persephone, which is from PDB as well. And then finally, I'm taking Stuck With You, which is also PDB. I'm gonna mix that up, and then I ended up adding a little bit more Parabatai to just really bring out a little bit more of that white color. So here's what the mix looks like, all dumped out, and I'll bring you a little closer. It's really got that nice shift to it. I think on a aqua or teal base, it would really pull more of that teal out. So now I'm gonna apply it to my cup. So I took some more of that white acrylic paint, a little bit of my glitter glue, I'm gonna mix them together and apply that all over the top portion of this cup. Again, don't worry about that little middle section, that's gonna get covered up, so don't worry about getting that perfect. Then I'm going in with this glitter, which I have tentatively named Shania. I like to name my glitters so when I write my recipes down in my little glitter recipe book that I'm working on, I know what glitter goes with what. So there's the mix. I did seal this with the glitter glue up at the top after that dried. So this is all sealed and ready to go. And now I'm gonna go in with my first coat of epoxy. I applied to the pink section first and then up at the white section. Once this cures, I'm gonna go in with a second coat and then do all of my sanding. So my whole cup is sanded down and smooth enough at this point. And I'm ready to apply my peekaboo stencils for the bottom portion of the cup. I'm gonna tape off this pink section and start to apply my stencils. I'm using some little cowboy boots. I will have the link for this file down in the description box. I got it from Creative Fabrica. And I'm going to apply these kind of like offset or staggered from each other, close together. I ended up repositioning a few of them to make sure I could fit all of them on the cup. And then in between all the boots, I'm just going to apply a few little stars here and there. I added one little fun heart just as a little kind of Easter egg within the design.
For the paint on this, I'm going to use Tokyo Pink from Montana Colors. I'm going to do one layer of that and then use my heat gun to help speed up the drying process just because I'm impatient. And once the paint was dry, I went in with a blue Sharpie and I'm marking off all of my stencils just with a little X or a little squiggly mark. And I'm doing this because we're going to glitter over our peekaboo and using this dark Sharpie over the stencils is going to help me see through the glitter and find my stencils so that I can peel them up. If you're using a darker glitter where you're not going to be able to see the marker through, you can take some hot glue and make little hot glue dots on your stencils to help you find them as well. Um, with lighter glitter though, if you use a dark marker on your stencils, you should be able to find them through your glitter pretty easily. So I applied the glitter glue again, and the glitter I'm going in with now is Baby's Breath from PDB. So I applied that. It's a really fine, the, like the perfect pink color. And I'm going to pull up my stencils immediately after glittering. I don't want the glitter glue to dry over my stencils because that will make them a little bit more difficult to peel up. So I'm going right in, just being very, very careful. I'm using my sharp nose tweezers and just finding those little blue marks and peeling up all of my stencils very, very carefully. Really take your time with this. You don't want to mess up your glitter. So there's my stencils all peeled. I did spray this with two coats of matte clear spray to seal that top layer of glitter in. And now I'm going in with another coat of epoxy. I put the epoxy up at the top white section first and then covered the bottom pink section just to avoid any contamination. I let that dry and then I added another coat of epoxy on top of that. And in this coat, we're going to sprinkle a little more teal into this top white layer. I initially wanted to keep this white and then after looking at everything, all of the elements we're going to add later, I was like, you know what? I want to make this more aqua, more teal, just really take it there. So I'm taking first the waves from Peachy Olive Glitters and then I'm taking Stuck With You and a little more Kanoe and I sprinkled that in that top white section and then I decided I needed even more. So here I'm taking Annabelle from PDB and I'm putting a whole lot of this on that top white section and really just pulling out as much of the aqua turquoise vibe as I can. So here's a close up. It's got some aqua, it's got some gold pieces, and it really just brought everything where I needed it to go. So after that was on there, I added another coat of epoxy on top to make sure my surface was totally smooth. And now I'm ready to add all of my vinyl elements, or at least my printable vinyl elements. So first we're going to add the striping that goes in the middle. This is a digital paper I got from Creative Fabrica and I just plugged it into my Silhouette Studio and created the shape that I wanted for this middle part. So this is a one inch wide strip and I just made it as long as I could with the print and cut. So that's why I cut two. You're gonna see at the end here, I'm gonna have a little bit of extra space. So I just piece the file together to make it look like one long strip. So I'm just applying that right in the middle of where our pink and our white meet, of course. Now I'm taking my little extra piece and I'm just gonna piece this up, make sure it matches as good as I can get it. And then I'm gonna trim the edge off and I'm gonna cut kind of squiggly to make this look as natural as possible. I don't want like a harsh straight seam. So I'm gonna cut kind of wavy here just to help it blend a little bit better. And there you see, you can barely see where that seam is in the grand scheme of this pattern. And then for our main decal, we're going, let's go girls. So I just got this file on Etsy, cut it out using my print and cut, applied it right to my cup. And now we're ready to go in with another coat of epoxy to seal all of this in. Make sure your epoxy coats are as thin as you can make them because if you don't make them thin, your cup's gonna weigh like 25 pounds. After that coat, I did sand down the top rim another time just to make sure that we had a really good seal for our epoxy at the very end. And now I'm going in with the rest of my vinyl elements. So first we're going to outline our little middle section here with some pink vinyl striping. This is just a soft pink vinyl from Oracle. It's a 651 regular plain vinyl. And I cut those at 0.13 inches wide. And once I've got those on, I'm gonna go in with the outlines for my bottom peekaboo section. And I cut these out on just regular matte white vinyl. And for the cowboy boot outline, the file actually comes with a more detailed outline and I just went in and removed a whole bunch of those details just to make this outline cut a little bit easier and make the whole file or the process a little bit simpler. So this is going to look a little different from the file that you'll download, but you can just go in and, you know, contour out or 
you know, weld certain shapes together to create those solid pieces and give you an easier outline to apply. So I'm just going through here and applying the outlines for the cowboy boots first. This vinyl has a clear backing, which makes it really easy to place these correctly. So I'm just keeping the backing on and then using the hinge method to apply each outline. And I'm going to do the exact same thing with the stars and the one little heart around. And I'm going to basically just outline everything. Once I had everything applied, I did go in and seal all of my vinyl with a coat of the glitter glue. This is a lot of work and I would hate for it to lift under epoxy, so I'm going to seal it. And once that's dry, I'm going to go in with my final two coats of epoxy. For the final coats on this, I used KS Resin Liquid Art UV and it shined up perfectly. I didn't have a bubble in sight. It was really, really great to use, so I liked that. So here's the final result. This cup was so much fun to make. This brings my country girl fantasy to life, and I really hope that I made Shania proud. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button down below. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel so you don't miss any of my new videos, and let me know what you thought of this video down in the comments. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Okay, love you. Bye. It's just... What? Ugh. I don't know what I'm talking about. Yes!